What is going on guys, Snickle here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in Ashugaru, the last Shogun on the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Nagashima, which is to defeat Daimyo Katsui. There are a bunch of enemies throughout this game, and they do kind of randomly spawn as you're playing through, so we'll discuss how you're going to beat these and do all of this a little bit later in the video. But anyway, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below, and consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get right into this video. I was live streaming myself getting this platinum. I do live stream all my platinum trophies and various other things over on Twitch. So if you want to follow me, there's a link for that down in the description below. So what I want to talk about real quick is what is this game? So this is a fantastic um, PlayStation 4 exclusive by Gilson B. Pontes. And uh, if you can't tell, I'm being a little sarcastic uh, because this game has a lot of issues that I want to discuss, but I'm going to try to help you guys to get the platinum uh, because I was struggling through it. So if you can't tell, um, I look exhausted. I was playing this game until I think like four o'clock in the morning. I wanted to get these last few enemies that I needed, but the game was just not working on me. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. And what I'm doing is... Uh, the method that you're going to need to use in order to uh, defeat enemies in this game because you are going to die if you get hit one time. So what you have to do is you have to run around the map until you find a red target on the map. And then once you find the red target, you're going to run away until they despawn just like you saw them do there. And then once they despawn, you then can attack them and they won't attack you. And you have to use this method in order to defeat enemies because this game has no block button, it has no dodge button, it has no anything. It has an attack button and it has a run button. Those are the only two buttons that it has. And once you commit to doing an attack, there's no way to cancel it. So even if you wanted to try to fight these guys normally, it's it's actually like impossible to do it. So you have to use that method in order to defeat the enemies, which kind of sucks. Now, the other part of the game that really sucks, and it's the part that really irritated me, is that the enemies that you fight don't have names above them or names around them, so you don't know who you're actually fighting. This is a pain in the ass because you would think if you were to defeat an enemy that they wouldn't show up on the map anymore, but that's actually false. Uh, when you defeat an enemy, they have the ability to just respawn on the map and, and just, you know come back to you again so you don't really know who you're fighting so you're going to end up running around the map trying to fight every single red enemy that you see and you're going to basically be playing a game of luck which really sucks because this game is just really boring because the only way you can defeat enemies is by you know going up to them getting them to you know lock onto you and follow you and then run away that's that's basically the the tactic of uh, beating these enemies and you'll see the tactic right here but all in all, it just really sucks because even if you go into a map and you start fighting enemies and, you know, killing them and unlocking trophies, some of them that you'll kill will respawn and you'll just never know who you're fighting. You'll have to fight every single one. It just becomes a big pain in the ass. And then you'll have issues like I think I had the game crash on me one time. So that happened. Sometimes you'll run into other enemies because you're kind of running away and you, you can't move the camera around until you're you're backed up far enough. So there's a lot of issues going on here. I really wish that at least we could tell which enemy we're fighting. That would be the first thing. Another thing that's really annoying is that sometimes the enemies will just despawn regardless of if you're doing this or not, or they'll just spawn. If you get too close to them or too far away, they'll just despawn or spawn. So there's just weird things going on and I'm pretty certain that once you play this game for like an hour or so like the game knows that you're playing it for an hour so it really just starts to fuck a lot of things up with spawns and things like that like I'm I'm pretty certain the game knows that which is really annoying because it would be an okay-ish game dealing with these issues if like you at least knew who you were fighting or the game didn't break all the time you basically have to break the game in order to beat it so that's the only method and means that i can give you if you're going to go for this platinum would i advise going for it i don't know it's really hard for me to to say i would really say no because of the issues that that um come up with this i mean if you at least knew who you were fighting you could know like okay i i fought that enemy before i don't need to fight them or i don't need to go through this process of running away because the process of running away is what takes the longest it takes minutes and sometimes you'll spawn in and no enemies will even be there so that's a whole nother issue that arises is that you don't even have red targets to fight 
and you do need to fight the red targets. All of the yellow ones are just like little guys. You, you, you don't need to worry about them. The red ones are the only ones that will give you trophies. And like I said, some of them, or, or all of them, will respawn once you kill them. So it's it's kind of annoying. So it's a big game of uh, of luck. And this was the last fight that I was going to do for the night before I got off because I was just so kind of done with this game at this point. So here we go. We're finishing it up. There's our kill. We're going to get our trophy, Nagashima. And then we will get this platinum trophy finally called Shogun. So it was an interesting experience. It's the annual Gilson PS4 exclusive. But anyway, with all of that being said, let's take a look at this list. So here it is, 100% with a platinum, no DLC or anything. And as you're looking through the list here, you're going to see that there are trophies for basically defeating all sorts of enemies. Those are just the red enemies around the map. And like I said, it is random. It would be really nice to be able to tell which ones you have and which ones you don't or who you're fighting so you know who to run away from for good. But the game doesn't tell you that, so it's a luck of the draw of who you're going to fight. And that's all I can say. Anyway, here is the profile. Trophy level 564, 23%. I've got 13,639 total trophies. Got 9,188 bronze, 3,057 silver, 1,177 gold, and 217 platinums with 13,639 total trophies. If you're into that numbers kind of stuff. And then here's the platinum trophy itself, Shogun. So again... I'm not really sure what to say about this game. I'm torn because typically I am somewhat of a fan of these Gilson games, even though they are huge, um, interesting piles of um, crap, to be nice about it. Um, they are somewhat interesting because they do make you really appreciate good games when it comes down to it. But with this game, it just sucks a little bit. With previous games, there have definitely been uh, encounters where it doesn't tell you who you're fighting, but at least the enemies are different. Or the, I think in previous games, there was like dragons. You could tell which ones were which because they were different. They were different looking, different colors, things like that. This game, you can't really tell. You can't really tell who you're fighting. They all look the same. Uh, there are like subtle things like patterns and stuff that you can keep an eye out for but they're random so they're not the same for every single enemy and they're just copy and pasted for all of them so that kind of sucks so it would be nice to be able to get a little bit of a name above it so we could tell who we're fighting but it's not going on here so uh, i guess we're asking for a little bit too much let's get into some numbers here so difficulty out of 10 if you're going to use the exploit of running away in order to defeat enemies which is the only way to do it i'm going to give this like a three out of ten it's nothing too difficult honestly maybe like a two out of ten the only thing that makes this game somewhat difficult is just the randomness of being able to find the enemies that you need but all in all with that it's really not that bad time it takes to get a, the platinum you're probably looking at maybe I don't know anywhere between two to five hours uh which is you know a lot it took me one hour just to get the last enemy but it really depends on how lucky you get with the enemies that you're getting and if the game ends up breaking as you're playing through that it also depends on that as well so I'll say two out of ten two to five hours probably closer to five hours in order to get the platinum but uh would I suggest the game if you really, really want to play it, that's all I'll say. If you're really feeling it, if, if you're feeling playing a really bad game. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Let me know your thoughts on the game down in the comments below. Down in the description below, you'll find links to all types of stuff. My Twitter, my Twitch, Instagram, other videos like this. So if you want to go follow me anywhere or watch any of that stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. And I hope to see you guys around sometime soon.